Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer here. Well, wait, that was a serious rain last night. Got out here and looked at the rain gauge. It rained really hard like that for about 10 minutes and then went down to the slow drizzle. I went to bed. <coughs> looked in the rain gauge this morning. It's like two and a half inches of rain in there. So I came out here and looked at this ground and over on the other side, I said, hey, this stuff's soft now. I wonder if I can try this no-till trick again. So uh, I decided since the wheat stubble was so uneven from where I kept raising and lowering the head of the combine, uh, trying not to pick up so much of this weed matter, that I'd take uh, that jai mower over there behind that tractor and come out here and get all this wheat stubble cut to the same height. And uh, what I found out this ground ain't been uh, cut, tilled since last November when I gave it just a real light tillage to cut in the soybean stubble and plant this weed on it. But it's way too wet. This spot right here where that wash came out of that uh, beans right there, if I didn't have positive traction and the smart, quick reaction to pick that mower up, uh, that's where the tractor would be sitting right there. And I got a pretty good idea that if I come out here with this grain drill, I'll stick it somewhere. And then not to mention, that's our cloud activity for this morning. Uh, Saturday morning, I think it's the uh, 18th, I'm not sure. Don't have the phone with me to look at the date. But I don't think this, this project's gonna work out. Uh, there's a spot back over there on that corner. There's a, another spot. You know, when you put tractor in positive traction, don't try to turn it until you get it out of positive traction. <laughs> that was kind of exciting up there. I was pulling up a little bit of a hill and headed towards the beans and went to try to turn. And that tractor's funky about getting out of positive traction. You've got to stomp both of the brakes. And uh, that almost turned into a mess, but I stayed out of the beans. Anyhow, I don't think this idea is going to work. Might be one of them days where I go down there and change the oil on the 4020. Got it sitting over there. I'll go up there and grease the combine. Maybe clean up the shop a little bit. But I make too many more messes like that out here. Uh, ruts and stirring up the mud like that, which ain't going to do nothing but turn to concrete just as soon as the sunlight gets on it. I will have a first class mess. So I think I'll leave this idea alone. I thought it was a good idea, but nah, ain't going to work. Everybody, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all. Yep. A rainy day. There's another spot right out there that I messed up raw. Let's see if you can get a view of that. Just soaked dried right up and said, Give me that tractor. I said, No, the tractor's got positive traction I'm going on through here. And, uh, you know, had this tractor, bought this tractor the year before I moved over here, so I've had it like 19 years. I've never had this little tractor stuck except for once. Uh, drove it off down in a creek bottom. My bad. Hadn't had tractor very long when I did that act of stupidity. But uh, anyhow, it's raining again now. Nice to have a canopy. Oh, oh man. What do you do? Yeah, sometimes when Bandit gets to talking about the dilemmas that he's working with, I can, I can uh, the day I can relate, Bandit. You know, clock's ticking on. July 4th will be here before I know it. And this field is saturated, wet, bad. On the plus side, beans are growing nice. Sure wish I had the rest of them planted.
Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I think today is going to be one of them days where we just enjoy a cigar and work in the shop. The ground's too wet. Can't even pull a, a jive mower across it. Oh well. Kind of at a loss of words right now. Hope everybody has a, a good day and gets to get out and do the stuff they want to do today. Bye, y'all. Thought I'd walk up here. This is the field that I did get soybean drilled into yesterday. Had weed on it. Uh, disc it with the heavy offset disc, went over it twice. Tried to smooth it with seed bed finisher, but it kept grabbing up a bunch of straw and making kind of a mess. <coughs> I'm actually kind of amazed. Uh, there's the grass line right there. And you don't see a bunch of dirt spilled out into the grass. And this is the lowest corner right here. This gets you to where I've had beans and then I planted right here. And it's a little bit of the straw wash here, but very little. Uh, maybe having a bunch of straw in your dirt holds your dirt in place. That's all I can think of. But that was a hard, heavy rain for about 10 minutes that uh, pounded on this. And it's a right good rise from here to the top of that hill up there. So uh, anyhow, this just worked out pretty good. It didn't wash it out. So maybe the beans will get up and get this hot weather on them and get to growing and make a decent crop. I decided to uh, try another experiment. I usually run the grain drill set on 26. On these tight narrow rows, I bumped it down to 20. And I decided to bump it back up to 26 and see if that makes a difference in uh, the row population. Grain drill, controlled spill. <laughs> okay. And uh, looks like here comes the next rain cloud. So let me go find something inside to do today. Everybody, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all. Well, the bottom just fell out again here. I mean, another serious downpour. It's uh, passed on, but you can see the water coming off that field again down through the grass and there's the uh, ditch that I put out there to get water out of here and let's see I'll get over here where I can get a better view of it I'm on the front porch let's see that should zoom in about maybe that's still focused there's an 18 inch culvert uh, under my driveway I knew to put that in there wouldn't have done me any good to put anything any bigger because my neighbor has the uh, ditch on the other side clogged up and refuses to let me go over there and clean it out. That's his land. He's going to do with it as he sees fit. Well, that's his right. It's his land. So anyhow, it backs up a bit right there, but eventually it does go on through. But the water is just coming off of that field there, coming down through the little ditch I cut where it meets the larger ditch. Uh, last night, I'm going to get this off zoom, it's too shaky when it's on zoom, there. Last night when that storm came through here, this is some kind of tree right over here that my wife really likes a lot. She was real sad this morning when she saw that her little tree is snapped off and broke. So um, I get to play with the chainsaw when it finally decides to stop raining uh, maybe that's insensitive to people who need rain it would be nice if we had uh, total control of things on this earth and we could say need a little rain about 10 minutes about a quarter inch please thank you but uh, I don't know how to do that well soybean farmer got a lot of rain going on here everybody thanks for watching
Yeah, it'll be a while before it all runs off that field. Yep, I can see the sand coming out in the grass on that low corner now. And of course, all that running down through here, down the walkway, out in the yard. Hopefully, maybe all this will run off before the next cloud comes over and opens up. Yeah, a little sound of thunder there. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.